Hi everyone, it's the English Simmer here and welcome back to what I think is part 10 of my Animal Crossing Let's Play. I just had some technical difficulties starting to record this part, so apologies if this video comes a little bit later than usual, but we fixed it, don't worry, it was just my Switch being homophobic, which I'm glad about because I thought it was like my monitor, which was expensive and a lot of money and I didn't want to send it off. Uh, so luckily it wasn't that, it was just my Nintendo Switch playing up. But speaking of homophobia, someone's actually moving out of my town. I mean, technically it's not a hate crime because I'm kind of glad about it. So I'm going to show you who it is. Can you guys guess who it is? I'm happy about it. Actually, you know what? It is homophobia because it's not the person that I wanted it to be. Oh, hey boo. It's not Alice. You can all stop freaking out. It's not Alice. She's not going anywhere. I am clinging on to Alice with everything I have. This is who is moving out. This house right here, which I'm kind of glad about, don't get me wrong. I'm fairly sure she saw Freckles and was like, this town ain't big enough for the both of us because they both want to be pop stars. So I think as soon as Freckles moved in, Chrissy was like, peace, Soul Spray is no longer my home and Chrissy is moving out. Hey, Molly, thanks for all your advice yesterday. I've decided to move out and I'm like low-key worried that everyone's going to suffer from Chrissy deficiency. <laughs> But they've got you, don't they, Molly? You'll take good care of everyone. I will look after the gang for you. I bet we'll see each other again. It's a big world, but there's only so much of it, right? That is true. And plus, if I want to, I could technically buy you. I could buy her amiibo and invite her. I also wish she'd give me her flooring before she left. Because, you know, this is just going to get ripped up the next time the next person comes. I was really happy before because I went over to Benedict and he looked really sad and he had a thought bubble over his head and I was like, this is the moment. This is the moment where Benedict tells me that he wants to move out because I've been ignoring him for so long now. And then he did me the dirty and I don't even think I have them in my inventory right now, but he gave me body tights tights for my whole body like who does that like i was so excited because i was like oh my god he's finally gonna get to move out this is it this is the point where i no longer have to put up with him and then he gave me full body length tights which was just disgusting i think i showed you freckles i think i showed her to you in the last video. If I didn't, this is Freckles. She's new on my island. I love her. She reminds me of my niece and I stole her off one of my moderators. Did you know the moon is about 235,000 miles away? Is it actually? I'm going to walk around Salisbury Shore until I've walked that far. Just call me Moon Duck. <laughs> She's so cute. She wants to be famous for something. If that's what she wants to be famous for, then I am not gonna stop you, Freckles. You live out your dreams. Who am I to tell you that you can't walk around the moon's circumference? So there's a couple of things I need to do this part, but the first thing that I need to do is check what I need to make a recipe. So my mod, Alona, who I also stole Freckles of, DM'd me this morning and was like, Molly, I have a recipe for an acoustic guitar. Do you want it? And I was like, yes please. So she very, very kindly gave it to me. And the reason why I wanted this is because a few parts ago, I asked you guys what kind of areas I should have in my island, on my island. And one of you guys, M, actually replied with, you should have like a festival area. And I actually want to make my campsite kind of a little festival-y area. Just because when there isn't a tent on the campsite, it kind of looks like a little stage. And I just think it would be super Super cute. So I'm gonna put like a campfire or a bonfire and like some like log stools and stuff and some like instruments around there. It's gonna look very cute. I'm very, very excited for it, but I need to make some acoustic guitars. I have also started decorating my islanders like houses and outside of their houses to give them like front gardens. And I want an acoustic guitar outside Fuchsia's because she's a little bit punky and I honestly, <laughs> 
She's one of my favorites, so I just want to give her a good little uh, place to chill out. She's a very chill kind of person, so I'm gonna make a couple of acoustic guitars. Okay, so there's a cherry red one, a brown one, a blue one, a white one, a black one, and a pink one! Yeah, let's get that for Fuchsia. It's five? Yeah, I'm good with that design. So this is gonna go outside little Fuchsia's house and we can actually customize the electric guitar as well. Why can we not customize the amp? What can we do the rock guitar to? Oh, you can add like a KK logo, a chic logo, a rock logo. Not gonna do that, but let's go give this one to Fuchsia. Let's go surprise her. I don't wanna give it to her as a gift, although I kinda wanna see what her reaction would be. But I do have something that she can wear. It definitely fit the Fuchsia vibe, I feel. So I'm gonna gift her something to wear, so we'll see if she wears it. And then I'll just put the little acoustic guitar outside for her. She's got this cute little hammock, which I love, and then I'm thinking of putting like the guitar in this corner. So I think it might be this one that I customized. Yes, it is. Okay. Um, I mean, can it not go? I don't think it can go in that corner fully. That'll do. I kind of want to move the bike to the other side of her house, but then you wouldn't be able to get through here. But I don't really mind that because you can go around the back of her house. So we'll do that instead. Fuchsia's place looks so fuchsia -y. I love it. But let me show you the inside because it looks so cool. I am so jealous. I want literally every piece of furniture that she has. Like, look at this bed. It's amazing. Got a groove going now. This is starting to rock, precious. What you doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? Check it out. I'm making a wooden mini table. Ooh. Yes, please. I will take that off your hands. You want to give it a whirl? Give it to me. Oh, that's nice. That's just like a plain, simple wooden table, which I definitely needed. Thank you, Fuchsia. And I also... Someone's feeling chatty. Do you want this? Whoa. What is it, precious? It is not the amp, not the saxophone. It is this camo bomber style jacket. Camo. Camo. A camo bomber style jacket? Whoa, cool. I bet this will look great on me. <gasps> it looks sick. That suits her so much. Thanks, Molly. So what do you think? Do I look good? Do I look awesome? Good one. One good deed deserves another. Here, have a cardigan shirt combo. <gasps> Fuchsia! She knows that I love a cozy cardigan. Oh my god, let me put it on. I want to see what it looks like. Oh, that's cute. Thanks, Fuchsia. I mean, I prefer my dress right now, but that is gonna come in handy for the autumn season. Bye, chick. Love you. Oh, she is such a babe. How could you not absolutely love her. This is gonna be legit, like this is gonna look cool. Might be a bit weird when there is a camper, but let's be real, I already have 10 people living on my island, well technically nine when Chrissy moves off, but I'm sure those spaces will fill up super easy, so the campsite doesn't really need to be a campsite in this, on this island. And then I'm kind of thinking of making this lake well, this pond into a lake, so kind of bringing it all the way over here and making just a massive, like, natural lake zone, which I think would look pretty sick. I think I might push the cliff back a tiny bit. Not loads, but I'm liking how my island looks so far. I'm really impressed with it, and it's going, like, exactly the way that I wanted it to. I also want to do, like, a little greenhouse bit because I saw someone on Twitter do that, and it looked adorable. And whilst we're here, we may as well check what I have in my bank. I am almost rolling in it. So I only have like 248,000 left to actually pay off this loan, which is great. Um, might even do that on tonight's stream. Might just try and like crank out some bells with catching fish and maybe going to mystery islands and stuff. And then I think the next video is probably gonna be me hunting for the gayest villager. 
that I can find. As you guys know, I have quite a few Nook Miles. So I think I might just buy like a whole bunch of tickets. And then once Chrissy moves out today, we'll have a free plot. And I can kind of just be like, okay, this is gonna be a task to find the gayest villager. But what I also need, because I keep getting confused between this walkway and this walkway, this second one is the one that actually leads you to the bridge. But I keep getting confused about it. So I'm gonna put a signpost like here so that I, when I'm running across, I'll be like, okay, no, that's not the first one, it's this one. So I need a gay signpost, which is a thing in the game. Yeah, this is the destination signpost I want. On Sunday, it was Bunny Day. As you guys know, I actually recorded the first part of Bunny Day where Zipper basically told us that we needed to find eggs and give them to him on the 12th. I did that and I will show you what he gave me for all of my hard work. Oh, I think I sold it. I think I fully got rid of it, but he gave me a toy of himself, which was horrific. Like nobody would have wanted that in their right mind. So I bin that straight away. And he also gave me a bunny day arch. And where's the last thing that he gave me? This right here, which is a bunny day wand, which most definitely looks like a butt plug. Um, so thank you, Zipper. I appreciate that. I wanted all of it, as I'm sure you could tell. And I was really, really salty about it. So I'm really glad that I did not record any of it because honestly, none of it even deserved a video here on the channel. So I'm sorry that you guys didn't get to see like the end of those things or the first tourney, but honestly, I just didn't want to sit and record the tourney because it was the same thing over and over again and it really wouldn't have made a good video uh, but I just picked up peaches as well so that I could eat some and move all of my trees over to the orchard but like I said I can't remember what is my orange and what is my cherry okay so this tree is kind of in the way so I'm definitely gonna have to move him but let's place this destination board down here and then we'll do it that way yeah there we go so now i'm gonna remember which way it is i also like i think like along here i want to do like the rainbow flag as you guys probably know if you've been to pride before a lot of places at like junctions or road crossings they put the pride flag down and i definitely want to do that so maybe we'll do that in this part so i need to get like get the colors correct and then i might do it as like a little walkway which is gonna be super cute so we'll do that in this part but let's eat some peaches so that I can dig up these trees and sort my orchard out. And after collecting all my fruit from my orchard, let's go and have a gander at how much we can get for all of this. This is exactly why you build an orchard because I wanna see how much money we're gonna get just from having four different types of fruit because I'm not selling my own fruit, which are peaches, because I can go to a friend's island whose native fruit isn't peaches and get more money for those as well. So let's sell all of the fruit that we just got. So oranges, apples, cherries, pears, and that was everything, yeah. I got my peaches still, so let's confirm those. So we got like 12 to 15 of each of those fruits. And for that, we will get 27,000 bells. And they, I think, spawn, I don't even know how many days it takes for fruit to spawn, but I mean, that's a pretty steady flow of income, like if you're just getting random fruits and I'm never gonna use them anyway. So it's quite nice to have a little orchard and like a dedicated space for all my gardening needs. I'm thinking of maybe putting like the little greenhouse here with like a little allotment next to it, which is gonna be super duper cute. So I've pretty much got all of the designs done for this little rainbow flag that I want to do but I want to change this last and final design and then this one is gonna be uh first of all we need to change this to this and then we're gonna go for this purple color and we're gonna go fill and let's just get rid of these flowers I'm gonna just getting rid of like the Nintendo designs because honestly I am never in a million years gonna use these so I just thought I would like 
basically edit them and also show you guys how to do this. So I've done every other color. Purple is the last one. Um, and then I'm also gonna do this little guy down here for the time being. Turn off the mirror, change the tool to the pen tool, and then add one little transparent piece. Remember that that pretty much ties it to the like path that you already have down. Um, so that's what I want. So let's go test if this works. I hopefully have done it correctly. I pretty much tend to dig holes when I'm trying to work out like things. So that's two, three. Oh, I didn't want to talk to Kat. What is up, Molly? Why do you sound like a YouTuber? Some days I get myself super hyped, like just ready and raring to go. Take a nap. <laughs> Kat, you are me. Okay, I'm just gonna scoot you over there. Just for a second, do not come back to work. Seriously, Kat, move over. Thank you. Okay, so that's like six. And then let's start from this end. So that's one. So I think I wanna start here, but I don't really know. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do it. <laughs> I think we have six colors. So if we go here and then we go to purple, cause we're starting from the bottom. Let's display that on ground. Yes, it actually works. Okay, so it wraps over the brick. So it's basically making a purple brick, which is exactly what, I want it, so let's place all of these display on ground. This is gonna look sick. I'm so glad that this has worked. This has definitely worked in my favor. Oh my God, I love it already. I've kind of gone for the pastel colors again um, because they just look a bit more worn. And you know, if people are like walking to and from every single day, of course it's gonna get like a bit worn. Like I might even dirty them up because they still look like a little bit too perfect. But I kind of love how they're wrapping around like the brick that I already have. The only thing is, is I'm gonna, I think for this side, I'm gonna change where that transparent thing is. So I think I'll edit this side once I'm done and add the transparent thing to the other side of it so you can't see it like the other side. If that makes any sense. <laughs> I'm basically gonna mirror it for one side so that you can't see because you can currently see like a little bit of orange sticking through and I don't want that. God, my villagers do get in my way when I am trying to do stuff. So let's just do it this side. Actually, I'm just gonna do it all just to give you guys the, the full effect. But yeah, that little orange dot is super annoying. So that's most definitely going to get changed for sure. The orange kind of looks no different. I mean, it's a tiny little bit different, but it's definitely looking like a rainbow crossroad, which is exactly what I wanted it to look like. Hey, I'm such an Animal Crossing designer. Who would have thunk that I could do something as amazing as this? So there we go, that's it done. I think it's a little off. I think it's like one square off maybe. So I don't know if I'll have to move them up, but we got a little rainbow crosswalk, which is so dang sweet. <gasps> I love it. That's where I'm gonna end this part here, guys. So thank you all so, so much for tuning in to this episode of Animal Crossing. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Again, if you have any suggestions for like different parts of my islands that you would love to see me create, please do let me know because I really wanna like give you guys ideas. As much as you guys are giving me ideas of what to put on it. I kind of want to be able to help you guys bring those bits to life. Who knows, maybe I'll start even doing like little tutorials on how to bring together your island or create little spaces if there's specific requests for something. But thank you guys so, so much for tuning in. I will speak to you all in the next part. Bye. Also really quickly, I didn't want to leave you all hanging of what actually fell in that balloon. So we actually got a wheelchair, which is super cute, look. It's a little wheelchair and you can actually sit in it, which is so stinking sweet. I love how they've added that in, like definitely just fit in accessibility and disabilities into the game in such a simple way. Sims team, take notes. <laughs>